electric field intensity due to uniformly charged spherical shell. Consider a uniformly charged spherical shell of radius r. Let q be the charge on the shell. To find electric field intensity at any point p at a distance r from the center of the shell O, draw a Gaussian sphere with O as its center and R as its radius. The Gaussian sphere contains P on its surface as shown in the figure. Let us consider a small region of area DS around point P in which electric field is uniform. Now, electric flux through the small area element ds is d phi is equal to e ds cos theta where theta is the angle between the directions of e and ds the entire gaussian sphere can be assumed to be made up of a number of small elements each of area ds therefore the total electric flux through the entire Gaussian sphere is given by phi is equal to integral d phi or phi is equal to integral e ds cos theta. Since e and ds are always along the same direction for a uniformly charged sphere, theta is equal to 0. Therefore, phi is equal to integral e ds. Since the charge is uniformly distributed on the sphere, e has the same value everywhere on the Gaussian surface. Phi is equal to e integral ds. But integral ds gives the total area of the Gaussian sphere. Integral ds is equal to 4 pi r square. Thus, phi is equal to e into 4 pi r square. According to Gauss's law, the total electric flux over any closed surface is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times the total charge enclosed by the surface. Phi is equal to 1 by epsilon naught into Q. From equation 1 and 2, e into 4 pi r square is equal to q by epsilon naught. e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by r square. Vectorially, vector e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by r square into r cap. r cap is radially outward if q is positive and R cap is radially inward if Q is negative. If we observe this equation, we can notice that this is the same field intensity which a point charge Q placed at O would produce at point P. Thus, electric field at any point outside a uniformly charged spherical shell will have same value even if all the charges were concentrated at the center of the shell. Special cases Electric field on the surface of the shell If the point P lies on the surface of the charged shell, then R is equal to R. Thus, E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by R square. If sigma is the surface charge density of the shell, then Sigma is equal to Q by 4 pi r square or Q is equal to 4 pi r square sigma. Therefore, E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into 4 pi r square sigma by r square. E is equal to sigma by epsilon naught. Electric field inside the charged shell. If point P lies inside the shell, then the Gaussian surface does not enclose any charge. That is, Q is equal to 0. Therefore, E is equal to 0 inside the shell. The graphical variation of electric field intensity 
where the distance from the center of the charged shell is as shown below.